Hello and welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Benedict Lüning and today we have another Jack Daniels on the cask. And everybody knows the Jack Daniels old number seven, but Jack Daniels actually has quite a big range from normal whiskies like the old number seven, Gentleman Jack, and they actually do have a collection called the Single Barrel Collection. With the Single Barrel Collection, you have stuff like um, the normal Jack Daniels Single Barrel, then you have, I think, a hundred proof one or a high proof one, a barrel strength one, and now we do have the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye Whiskey. As the name says, it's a rye whiskey with high rye content. And for that, they actually changed or introduced a new mash bill to the Jack Daniels, um, yeah, to the Jack Daniels distillery. Um, they didn't do that since 1866, so ooh, quite a change. But don't worry, the old mash bill for all the other stuff remains the same, and only the rye one has to have a different mash bill because it's a rye whiskey. It's natural color for, as in filtering, doesn't say much, but we do know we have the Lincoln County process, which is already a filtering process with the charcoal. If you'd like to know more about this, there's a video about the Jack Daniels distillery on this channel, and there you will find out the, what the Lincoln County process is and what makes a Tennessee whiskey a Tennessee whiskey and have it stand apart from the normal bourbon. Um, yeah, the mash bill, 70% rye, 18% corn and 12% barley. Uh, and what they also said to us is that they do mature this whiskey at the very top of their warehouses. That the very, very top where it, is, where it is the hottest. So it matures really, really fast and you have a lot of um, additive maturation. So you get a lot of influence from the wood and you get a lot of these sugars dissolved from the wood and a lot of evaporation. But it's not, uh, you don't get much uh, subtractive maturation. So we might have a bit of a, a harsh character combined with a very strong character of a lot of uh, the woody characters. Enough said, it's only good if it tastes good. And all the, the single barrel collection ones are in this low style square shaped um, bottles. So, oh, it really looks neat. really looks neat. Ah, here it says the Rick, Rick number nine. So we do know the which warehouse it comes from. Ah, we do have a barrel number and a bottling date. So this one is uh, 8 of October 2017. So it's mm, really pretty fresh. They do look at quite fast here to the to, Euro to Europe. Mm. So yeah, we do have a lot of a lot of character. The Jack Daniels don't mature their whiskey so long. They're not known for their age statement whiskies, but they do have quite some character for that young age. And you do have quite a fruity character for a rye whiskey. A rye whiskey with 70% rye is considered a good rye, but it's not a a high strength rye. It's a, a normal rye. But it has a, a lot of fruity character in here and it has a, a nice, very dark amber color. But that one's a bit intriguing because uh, um, the deeper the, the bottle is, the, the darker it looks like. So, but it's also pretty smooth with the uh, creamy touch and a bit of a oaky note. Yeah, definitely has some oak in there. Hmm. 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 Whoa. 
do have a lot of fruit in your mouth, a bit of lighter touch. When you swallow, you do get the spiciness, the rye, the peppery notes, and also quite some caramel and sweetness. Mm. But it's still, you still realize it's a Jack Daniels. The Lincoln County process and all the Tennessee whiskeys uh, do have in common that they're incredibly smooth because they get this Lincoln County process with the charcoal filtering. And even though it has 45% ABV, it's, it's not that harsh. And that's what made the Jack Daniels brand so big. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice, smooth, gentle sipping experience. Mm. 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 Nice. You do get the Jack Daniels character, but with a lot more spiciness, a lot more kick to it, peppery. And some of them in the back, you do get the, the normal sweet tones that you know of Jack Daniels. So, if you found this video interesting, and usually you're not that Jack Daniels fan because it's just a bit too sweet and that kind of stuff, um, you want to have a bit more spicy stuff, then have a look at the Jack Daniels uh, single barrel rye. It's an exceptionally good one and a, and a nice strong one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.